welcome. I'm just going to be shouting out to you all, wishing you a happy 2021. And I'm just doing this video recording just to bring to you a breakdown of what 2021 represents. I've done some predictions previously that have turned out to be pretty much spot on. And so I've been asked to just do a breakdown in this video form. And so I'd like to bring my young man who's been working with me for a number of years to come on camera and we're just going to break it down and talk a little bit about 2021. So Nathaniel, how you doing, my man? Hi, I'm doing good. How are you? I'm really good, really good. So this is your idea, pretty much, just to break things down. So just as I was saying earlier on, 2021 is a year that has great opportunity in it. And so I want to start off just by sharing that. Last year, I, well, in fact, every year, I start the year by engaging in a month of fasting. And the reason why I do that is my mentor taught me that every year has its own vibration. And so rather than doing, uh, setting goals and things of that nature, what we do is tune into the vibrational frequency of the year. And as a result of that, be guided by what the year potentially offers. And so last year, whilst I was doing that practice on Saturday, the 11th of January, to be precise, one of our members in our community gave me a call and had a dream that she shared with me. And that dream, for somehow I was able to interpret that dream, dream and it made me realize that 2020 was going to be a year of swift change. And as a result, we staged uh, some events and you were with us at both of those events that we staged next year on the 1st of February and the 29th of February, yeah. where we introduced this whole notion, this whole brand called the Mind Reset. And sure enough, as predicted, within a few weeks, the whole world went on this massive Mind Reset in that we had to re figure, reconfigurate our lives and reanalyze everything that we were doing. And so for many people, it has been a really difficult and trying period. But for many who certainly were in our community and who were able to do that mind reset, challenges were there, but they were able to, as a result of having a different perspective, see things differently and turn challenges into opportunities. And so many had had a great year last year. And so with that said, 2021, it's like, what does 2021 bring? And if you'd like to check out the first blog that I wrote back in on the 7th of January, where you can find at tonydada.com, I wrote that 2021 is the year of harvest. And this is why we're doing this, this the video to kind of break that down. What does that actually mean? And so we were having a conversation, weren't we, Natty, where this whole subject came up in terms of 2021 being a year of harvest. What does that mean? See, I'm not just talking about uh, in a physical and monetary term, but certainly the things that we have sown in 2020, that's what we get the opportunity to harvest. Yeah. And... Before you, before you go on to 2021, you wrote a blog, the very back end of 2019, which would lead, which led us into 2020. And you were saying to us and all the team and everyone in the community that this year is going to be the year, uh, what you said to me is going to be a tough year, but you're ready. Excellent. So I didn't know what, I didn't, I didn't know what you were talking about when you said it's going to be a tough year. But you didn't say you didn't say it in those words. I'm paraphrasing. Right. That basically is going to be a hard year. But if you stay focused and stay rooted in what you desire and what you want from life, then you will be fine. So you wrote the blog. If anyone wants to read any of your blogs, they can go to tonyhour.com forward slash blog, and it will take you to the whole page of where all the blogs are. It's all dated. So, uh, and we had, as you said, the event in February of mind reset because you, you you started to say, I think people are starting to realize that 
it's, it's, it's a change in mentality in order for them to progress. That's right. So in order for us to experience abundance, we have to first of all heal. And there's a lot of people who are mentally in need of healing out here. And, and so that's the order of things because the universe is and operates in divine order. So you cannot experience abundance without healing first. Yeah. And often, if, I, I don't want to say young people, but myself, because I'm under the age of 30, I'm 25. We often see the successful people in our age group and then we go and try and get that success but don't know what they went through the journey they went through that gave them that mental stability or not to where they are today so in order to be successful to have the things or just to see the things that you want to see you have to do some work on yourself first to get absolutely so from the jump young people predominantly uh you've lost already because the journey is inward not outward and that's the paradox you know of course you see the success and you think i want to have that and you go chase it but that's the illusion and you're never going to quite attain that because if you actually spoke to that person and they broke it down the journey the biggest uh, accomplishments and the biggest challenges that they had to overcome is themselves and their mind and their mindset and their limitation and their limiting beliefs all of those things are the things that have to be dealt with so unless a personal development coach or trainer is giving you the real deal or a successful business is breaking it down to that extent he's only giving you half the story and the story that, the half of the story that he's giving you will never take you to that success that you're dreaming and aspiring towards yeah so it was in so after you had the event at Middlesex University of Mind Reset. Yeah. The very next month. Yeah. I mean, literally within, it, the event was on the 29th and within three weeks, like the whole of the UK got hit with COVID-19. Yeah. Obviously for us, we were already ahead of the game because by the 4th of March, we had pulled out of all of the plans of the events that we were looking at doing at Middlesex University and we were already preparing for how we were going to do our thing online and as a result and I put it down to that one event and this is why I'm saying to people that it's really important that you understand how your mind works your mind is a is a, a transmitting and a receiving station I was able to receive the message that this lady shared and give an interpretation that made sense to me and share it with my community. And as a result of that, we last year had our best year in eight years, seven or eight years. And that just speaks for itself. So even if those people out there saying, oh, that stuff that makes no sense, trust me, it makes sense because we've had our best year. Uh, and it's not just from our business, but in every area of, of my life. And so, you know, we talk and teach through our training programs in terms of the GPS system, which is based on, there are five key areas that you need to give attention to. So when I say that we had our best year or I had my best year, I'm saying in all of those five areas, mentally and emotionally, spiritually, financially, socially, in terms of my relationships and our business. So it's not just one area. And that for me really speaks about being able to be in tune with life and the direction that life is flowing and so based on that this is why we're here today right yeah. to break it down and expand so that i want i want everybody to be in the same position that 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 we were in to be able to be ahead of the curve and be able to position yourself so that you can win in 2021 i want to start off by asking when you say you spend some time to find out what life is trying to communicate with you. Uh, what are some of the things that you do? I know you said you fast during the month of February, but do you read certain things? Do you listen? Do you go and research certain things? Yeah, so, I mean, I'm I'm just being quiet, being still. You see, it it starts with that in, inward journey. If, if As I said, if we are, if our mind is a transmitting station and a broadcasting station, but we're so busy caught up being busy then life might be trying to transmit a signal to you and you don't pick it up 
and and those things could be through conversations you have through conversations you... through uh, tuning into nature uh, I, I, through reading so uh, so i might be guided like in this particular year i've been guided like i'm not a person who like reads the bible generally but this year i've been guided to read the bible and a particular portion of the bible like matthew i'm like okay and, and but as i'm reading it it's making reference to things that i'm sensing so here i am i've written a blog on the 7th of January, and then I'm reading today, for example, which is the day that we plan to do this, I'm reading in Matthew about harvest, and I'm reading about that, when will we know when the harvest time is upon us? Well, it will be at the end of an age. Well, if you read my blog that I wrote in December, I was talking about the queer age and this new cycle and, I, and you just couldn't work this out you couldn't make it up and so i'm writing about that in in december and then i'm reading about it in matthew in the bible i mean we're living in times that are unprecedented the impossible is literally possible and is happening and so when i talk about the year of harvest again people might say well it's really abstract then how does this relate to everyday life well classic example if you know anything about cryptocurrency, for example, as of this year, or should I say in the last 30, 60 days at max, if you had invested in Bitcoin or some of the other uh, coins, but in particular, let's talk about Bitcoin because that's the one that's most popular, you would, have, you would have been able to harvest a 20, 30% gain on your investment. This is what I'm talking about in terms of being in harmony with life. You make the right moves, and you make the right moves with confidence and clarity of vision and purpose. And so here we are in 2021, I'm saying, for those who understand that this is the year of harvest, this is the year that you get the opportunity to harvest, which means benefit from the seeds that you've sown in 2020. Now, I'm really excited about that because I know that that means I'm in for a great time in 2021. One. How do I know? Because you did the calculations for me last year, where to our surprise, I found out that I invested over a hundred thousand pounds into a hundred and fifty people. Is that right? Was that the numbers, or have I got them slightly skewed? No, it's, it's about well, from from my head, it's a hundred and ten something. So over a hundred and a hundred thousand pounds. Right, and a hundred and fifty people. That's what I invested in. So if that was my investment then I'm looking at a bountiful harvest this year. Yeah. So I'm just saying. So the question for each of us is to ask ourselves, well, in what way did you invest? And one of the best ways to have a real good harvest is to invest in people. So I know this, and so I did this last year. So that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm smiling, because it's going to be a good year. It's also important, even if you feel like you haven't invested uh, in people, but investing in yourself is also very important because you can't help people if you haven't helped yourself. Absolutely. So, you're, and thank you for bringing that up because it's a point that needs to be made. I did that for many years in terms of investing in people. You know, I've been in this space of investing in people for nearly 38, well, certainly for over almost 30 years. Wow. And, and for many of those years, I was investing in people, but not having done that solid work. I mean, I was good, but I hadn't done that solid work. And so you're absolutely right. If you have the desire to want to make a difference, you know, we're living in a new age, new age, meaning where there's an opportunity to do things anew. If you don't like the way certain things have been done, you now have the opportunity to, if you care enough and you're daring enough to be the solution to that problem, exciting times, but you can't do that unless you have fortified yourself unless you've done the work on yourself. Otherwise, at the first hurdle, you get taken out. You won't be able to stand. So it's a great opportunity, but at the same time, you can't shortcut life. You have to do the work on you first. That's the order of things. That's the way it's been designed by the creator, the most high. Do the work on yourself first, and then you can give from your overflow 
that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. Yeah. So a really good point. And, and so when we talk about harvest and this being the year of harvest, as I said, just want to remind people that it is not just about harvest in terms of reaping from business or just one area of making money. It's all of those five areas that need to be given attention to. And so, of course, I'm going to be doing a, a webinar on Monday, I think it is the first, where I'll be talking in more detail about that whole space in terms of the five key areas that you need to give attention to. And by giving attention to them, you can then identify what areas need to be developed. And now you're on a, an amazing journey of self-discovery, being able to be real with yourself. Because one of the things that I found amazing when I started working with the wider population as opposed to just young, young folk, is that I was like, adults seem more messed up than young folk. Like, because one thing that young people do is they keep it real with themselves. Like they will just keep it real. But I was surprised that adults, we'd be trying to lie to ourselves and actually believe in the lies that we're telling ourselves. I'm like, that don't make any sense. So this whole self-discovery is about number one, being real with yourself. And then number two, understanding what you really want because it's crazy but many people i would say a large majority of people actually don't know what they want and if you don't know what you want how can you find it 2021 is the year that if you know what you want this is a golden year to be able to manifest experience and enjoy those fruits, all of them. And it's, it's, uh, 2020 was also a very significant year in journey finding for me. And as well as journey finding for myself, I was able to help a friend of mine find his own journey. Cause I realized that like, this guy's real smart, but he's working for someone. He's like, that's what I've done all my life. From the age of 16, I've just worked. That's what I've done. It's all I know. So I said to him, why not try to do something that you want to do? I don't know what I want to do. So whilst you were also training me in 2020 to plant seeds. Okay, I gotcha. I wasn't, so you do. doing, I wasn't doing it intentionally planting seeds in him, but I guess by association, I was planting seeds because he saw what I was doing and he was like, okay, so he started learning and then he started planting into me also. And it doesn't have to be information it could just be conversation we would talk about certain things well certain thing that we want to do and you'll try and find his passions and you'll have this old new concept on society and how sometimes whatever is normal in society is not really normal right absolutely 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 and you know that that's that's what i'm always advocating 